At the Pike County Massacre trial, George Wagner's defense team got to present some of its witnesses early. As Local 12's James Pilcher reports, the prosecution also introduced key evidence about a truck used in the crimes. The defense got to start early today because it actually had three witnesses flying in from the state of Alaska. But the prosecutor still got key points in about the end of the investigation here on Monday. Monday afternoon, Ohio BCI lead agent Ryan Scheider walked a jury through how agents recreated the false bet in the truck allegedly used the night of the murders. Last month, George Wagner's younger brother, Jake, testified the brothers built it so they could hide on the way to the rodent homes. Earlier, George's defense lawyer suggested they couldn't have fit inside that space. But Scheider got two volunteers from law enforcement much larger than Jake and George. They were able to enter and exit the bed without any issues whatsoever. George is on trial for his alleged roles in the 2016 killings of eight members of the Roden and Gilly families. Scheider also testified about how he sent text messages to George in June of 2018 showing pictures of Jake holding what is believed to be one of the murder weapons as well as items used to make a silencer asking for his cooperation. Earlier Monday, the defense put on five witnesses, including the Wagner's pastor from Alaska, who said he was shocked to hear Jake and Mother Angela had pleaded guilty to the crimes. Prosecutors also won the right to show clips and scenes from the movies Boondock Saints and Boondock Saints 2. After an interesting legal debate over what could be shown, and Agent Scheider also testified about how BCI obtained wiretaps to listen in on the conversations between George and Jake as they drove a truck across country. Now we're supposed to start hearing snippets of those conversations beginning Tuesday morning. In Waverly, James Pilcher, Local 12 News.